Good. So I think, you know, well, well if then maybe a few other people will be straggling in, but we can get started. Um, to begin, my colleagues and I would like to welcome you all to the first Open Forest Field Consortium Workshop. Uh, we're looking forward to a couple of days of uh, having fun talking about science and technology and uh, maybe getting a little sunshine for those of you who are coming from uh, places that are a little chillier. Um, the goals, I think, are summarized here. I think our main goal is just to gather as many project participants together as possible so we can get to know each other, interact in person, and talk science. Uh, we're in particular interested in talking science with our pharmaceutical partners, um, letting them know the directions we're taking and getting uh, your feedback. Uh, this is also an opportunity to let you know what we're thinking about for the first year of the project. Of course, this has been discussed a fair amount already, so we're talking about uh, 2019 and then looking beyond. Uh, and also, uh, tomorrow afternoon, uh, folks who are interested uh, will have the opportunity to make first use of the uh, uh, prototypical open force field toolkit and see how that's uh, developing. Uh, in order to do this, well, we have a, a pretty busy two-day agenda. Uh, I won't go over it in detail, but as you probably know, it's available online. I also put some printouts of it in back. Um, for those of you who are coming in via Zoom, I just emailed out the meeting ID for tomorrow's session. It's separate from today's because we're going to try to record the sessions, and I want to make sure they don't. Uh, uh, the second one doesn't clobber the first one. So we're going to start off uh, this morning. Michael Schertz will give an overview of what we see as the roadmap for developing of open force field. And then we'll get into um, one hour talks about the science, various aspects of the project that Michael will have introduced. Um, there'll be a break in the middle where we can go back and get some coffee uh, and lunch. Uh, uh, then we'll have lunch. At the end of the morning sessions, I'm gonna turn off the Zoom because that's mostly for folks in Europe where it'll be getting late and it would be difficult to involve them in the discussions uh, anyway this way. In the afternoons, we'll have breakouts and the way those will be structured is, first of all, we'll all get together after lunch and we'll say, what do we want the breakout sessions to be? We want to have uh, two running in parallel. Uh, so we have some ideas what the topics may be, but we'll look for whether people want to do something perhaps a little bit different. We'll run two breakout sessions, one maybe back there and the other one over here. Come back together and then have another two. So there'll be a lot of time for discussion and we'll reconvene at the end. Um, uh, let's see. Well, okay, I, I, um, I think it skipped a slide. I'm not very quick at changing slides on here. But okay, but uh, on tomorrow we'll have a similar uh, structure. Uh, what spe maybe special is that in the afternoon, in place of one of the breakouts, Jeff Wagner, who is there, uh, will, as an open force field software scientist, uh, for those who are interested, will take you through installation of the toolkit, either on your own laptop or on a remote computer that you have access to. Uh, show you how to install it, um, parameterize a molecule, and run an, an initial simulation. The requirement for that is basically a laptop uh, or remote computer running Linux or Mac OS. Um, there should be a good amount of time for discussion of each talk because we've allotted an hour for each, um, and some of them may not, you know, are not going to take that whole time. But uh, we'd encourage you along the way, if you have additional topics uh, of interest or questions, to drop them into the appropriate Slack channels, which are listed on the printed agenda and also will be mentioned at the beginning of each talk. Though, of course, if you want to just write notes and bring them to the breakout sessions, that's also fine. But the Slack is a way of capturing the, the interests. Um, and then there'll be time to discuss those and other topics during the afternoons. So just to let you know, we had uh, a, a really good registration. There are a total of 44 people who registered. Um, 34 are, in principle are here in person. I'm not sure I see 34 right now. I know a few people are still straggling in. Um, we have uh, 17 people who registered who are from industry and 27 who are academic. Uh, I'm, you guess you all found the name tags on the back, but we thought those would be useful for getting to know each other. Um, I, no, I need to back this up. Somebody quick about getting out of, oh, here, that should be, okay. Oh, that was not what I intended. Sorry about that. Okay. I think, yeah, I think I need to bring it up and then, you know, screen sharing. So, uh, you think I missed the screen sharing somewhere? Yeah. 
where is it? Okay, back to meeting. Right, okay, so hopefully, thanks. Um, is that the one? I lost it. Right, no, but which one do I, I can't see which one. No, this is the one I want. Yeah, sorry. Um, Okay, great. In terms of the practicalities, uh, so we're only going to be meeting in this room. Uh, there, we, there aren't breakout rooms nearby. Um, there's Wi-Fi here. You should be able to get in using the UCSD guest network after a short delay. Um, in terms of the Zoom, as I mentioned before, it's only going to be pre-launch, so we will capture the scientific talks for the folks in Europe. As I mentioned, we will be trying to record these. Um, hopefully, it's recording now. But if I, I guess I want to know right now if there's anybody who would rather not have it recorded for any reason so that we can stop it. Okay, hearing no disagreement, we'll continue. Uh, and also I put the day two meeting ID up here, but that's also, I, I emailed it around and you can contact me if you need anything for that. And the slides for those of you who are interested will be made available after the, uh, after the meeting. In terms of food, we'll have breakfast, uh, breaks and lunch here at the table and back. Hey. And, um, there's a dinner this evening, a number, of, as I think you all know, which is at a place called the Rock Bottom Brewery. The uh, address is in the printed agenda and also online, I think. So there's a choice of several entrees you'll be able to have, including a vegetarian one. Just to let you know, it should be around $35, $40 a person. I hope that's fine with you. Um, if you have changed your plans relative to what you said when you registered in terms of the dinner, please let me know because then I can let the restaurant know to increase or decrease the expected number of people. Um, and to get over there, basically some of us have cars, we'll probably use a combination of cars and Uber. Uh, it's not very far away. Um, if you need any help during the workshop, if you have any questions that arise, uh, feel free to email me. I, I won't be monitoring email very closely. You can text, come up. And Somebody turned on the mic. <laughs> Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. We know who you are. <laughs> okay. Yeah, anyway, you can contact me if you need any help. And also, I want to thank postdocs in my lab who helped direct some of you in, and we'll be around and we'll be able to help with local arrangements. So if I could just ask, uh, Ido uh, is over there. Katie, over. why don't you guys stand up so people can actually see you just for a second. Thanks. Um, so Ido, Ben Shalom, Katie Kellett, Dave Slokower, and uh, Michael Schauperl. Um, so thank you so much. Um, I think the other thing I wanted to do was that, so you're going to see all the PIs stand up, so anybody who doesn't know us is going to see us because we'll be giving talks. But I wanted to invite the um, industrial members of the advisory board to stand up and introduce themselves briefly to say who they are and what their affiliation is, if that's okay. Um, maybe just starting from the front and working back. Oh, you know what? We have microphones. Do you want to just say that again? Then? So I'm Alberto. Okay, I'm Alberto Gobi. I'm at GenTech in South San Francisco. I'm not on the advisory board because I'm participating for Roche, and Roche has a different mm. member okay. uh, on the advisory board. Yeah. I am Arjun Narayanan. Uh, I'm uh, with Vert uh, computational chemist with Vertex. Somebody in the. Uh, Thank you. Okay, uh, my name is Ian Craig, and I'm a computational chemist at BSF in Germany. I'll pass over to Peter. I'm Peter Infeld. I'm a principal scientist at, uh, at BSF as well in Germany. I've been there for a little while, so that's one of the reasons I'm here. Thank you. Pat Walters, Relay Therapeutics. Hi, I'm Katharina Meyer. I'm a computational chemist at Bayer in Germany. Okay, so maybe it might be everybody who's here. I don't know if the folks on Zoom want to uh, speak up briefly and introduce yourselves. Um, I see, Thomas, I see you, you listed there. I don't know if there are any other advisory members online right now. It's a little, but um, please feel free to unmute yourselves and introduce yourselves. Oops. Hi, good morning. This is Thomas Fox. I'm with Böhring Ingelheim here in Germany. Thank you. This 
is Dory Sitkoff. I'm at Bristol Myers Squibb. Thank you. Hi, Dory. So, does anybody else want to pipe up? <laughs> okay. They're shy. Okay. Well, thanks. We're really glad to have you. Before we get started, I think, Mike, do you want to come up and get yourself set? In the meantime, um, 